In this video, we're going to explain to you what a Dropbox is and how does it work. Number one, we will provide the link that you must use. Two, we're going to diagram some examples so you have a solid idea. Three, we're going to give you some real examples. Four, we're going to provide you with a PDF file. And five, you're already looking at this video. Now, first of all, let's look at the Dropbox located on the home computer right down here. What you will do is install a Dropbox up in the sky up above and secondly we can place it on an iPad if you have one. And here's how it works. You will create a Dropbox in the sky and you will also create one on your home computer as well as your your iPad. Any information you would slide into your the folders on your home computer will automatically go up to the Dropbox in the sky. So it eliminates the flash that you may have. And if you place information in your Dropbox on your iPad, the same principle applies. It will go up here to the Dropbox in the sky, so then it will automatically be on your Dropbox on your home computer. So everything here will be in sync. The advantage of this is the fact that you're, you have the ability to transfer information up above and not worry about you losing it. Also, looking down the road, if you want to, what you can do is have your students use a Dropbox and call the public setup, and this will enable them to take lessons from your Dropbox or assignments fix the assignments or finish them and place it in the Dropbox up in the sky and you have access to it. All this will be done and all, all of these are free. Let's go to another example here and show you exactly what we're talking about. In this section of the video, you'll notice that what we have up here above is the address to the Dropbox www.dropbox.com and this was really going to simplify what you're going to do now watch the video and then you'll log in now your login and password will be your email and the password is whatever you want but watching this video will allow you to install the Dropbox not only on your computer but also place it on the internet and like we said before if you have an iPad you would put the app for a Dropbox on your iPad so all of them are all synced together. So just simply type in Dropbox.com, click on this video, and it will explain what's going on. Now we'll give you some examples in the next section. What you see before you is the Dropbox that I have on the Internet. Now you'll notice we have quite a few five, quite a few folders here, and I place everything in each particular folder depending upon what I'm going to do. The nice advantage here is I can access this from anywhere in the world. So, like having a flash drive, you just simply log into Dropbox.com, type in your email address and your password, and you can download any one of these information, these sheets here, and or you can place things up into your Dropbox. Hopefully that makes sense. Now what I'm going to do, what we're going to do, is we're going to show you the Dropbox that is currently installed on my computer. It will ask you, do you wish to, do you wish to install a Dropbox on your computer? And you say yes. Let's look at that. Now what you see before you is a Dropbox under my documents on my home computer. You'll notice that we have the same folders. Any folder I create here will automatically be created in the Dropbox on the Internet. You'll notice that I created one called English First Period. And let's go to the one in the sky. You'll notice that we have the Dropbox located right up here also, English First Period. So I have access to that from anywhere. And I can just simply type this up on my home computer and update it and here's how you place it into English first period this is so easy watch this 
What you're currently looking at is a document for English. I'm going to click on the word file and save as. When I do that, under my documents, it says Dropbox. I'm going to click on Dropbox and you'll notice it says English first period. Simply click on English first period and hit save. Once I've done that, what I have saved on my computer is now located up on the internet. Let's look and see to make sure. Okay, here we are again up on the internet and it says English first period. I'm going to click on it and you'll notice that we have it located up here automatically. So if I want to, I can go to another building, another school, another country and download this assignment. Hopefully that makes sense. Relatively easy to do. Now what you can do if you're a teacher, you can also create a folder for public and enable your students to gain access to it so they can drop off their work into that public folder. They would just simply have a Dropbox and they would log in and you would have to assign them, show them how to do that, which again is relatively easy to do. Here we go, English, first period. What we want to do is share this folder with all our students. To do that, I'm going to right click and click on the share link. When I do that, you'll notice that a folder or window is going to appear. Um, I'm going to type in or copy and paste the emails to all the students I wish to share. And I can copy and paste a message and hit it to every or send it to all the students. Once I've done that, they will receive an email saying that they now have access to English first period. Now they too must create a shared, uh, they must create a Dropbox on their home computer and this shared folder will then appear on their home computer as well. Okay, we just talked about number six. The students must create a Dropbox on their on the internet and a folder will automatically be created on their C drive. Then when you create the English folder, it will too automatically be created on their C drive. When the students create their assignments, they must place their name obviously in the header and give you the name of the assignment. Now the name of each lesson has to have a unique name. It must have the name the last name and the first letter of their first name. So no two documents have the same name. Once they save it into the folder, in this example, English first period, which was created by you, once you create that, once they save their document into that folder, it will automatically appear on the internet in your shared folder. So all you need to do is wait, find it, and then you can grade it at home or wherever you are.